Uh, well, I think there's just a phase, uh, a critical phase in a woman's life when you need to enable them. And I think today you need to enable both parents because uh, even, even the uh, parents' fathers are changing. They want to play a far more active role in, in parenting. And I think we are very, very biased towards doing things in most organizations for, uh, for women. So I think there should be a balance. You need to support both. Um, and those years are the child bearing and rearing years. Obviously, a woman will need more support in the child bearing years, uh, but once it comes to rearing, both need support. Uh, so, I think some of the tangible things like the Maternity Benefits Act that has got passed, which is six months, and we still need to see how that plays out uh, because the main thing that you need to change is the thinking of people. So, um, that is a gradual process, it can't be done overnight. Some cultures support it right from the top and it has permeated across and some are moving slowly on it and some will have to nudge, prod and push a little bit. Like ours sometimes needs a little nudging uh, and pushing and prodding. Um, I think the so first thing is if you bring in uh, diversity statistics, then at each stage of the interview um, levels, you will find the filter to get women increases. So that's the first thing you need to do to get more women in. Uh, then you need to make sure that you really, uh, you really give full support to the various panels and committees you've created to allow for both genders to speak if there's any kind of harassment. Again, we are very biased towards women as the law is as well. We need to also hear men. Today even women are harassing men and that is not coming up enough and, or maybe men feel prejudiced to speak about it. It used to be the reverse. So give a fair uh, hearing and don't just play lip service to the law and setting up those committees, really do it well. Rest of the things organizations are doing a fantastic job in terms of, you know, setting up counseling centers for them, going through their postmortem, their pre-mortem, all the blues, everything that they're doing, they're doing a lot, right, from care, attention, um, helping them come back into their careers. Uh, but I think now the bigger challenge would be, since it's mandated as six months, in fact, got passed today properly. If it, um, once they come back, nobody is going to hold that position so easily for six months. So I think it will be a very, very big challenge to help them find uh, things. And you may see some women wanting to come back earlier. So that said, and with companies doing everything they, they are, and we're doing a few of those things too, um, I think the biggest thing will be women themselves enabling themselves. Um, as I was coming, I was, because of the way uh, that we were coming, I was looking and, and thinking a little bit about wrestling and women in Haryana and how they've come up. And I was thinking, can a woman really be as physically strong as a man? And then I realized to myself, she doesn't need to be as physically strong as a man. She needs to think she's as physically strong as a man. So I think it's the thought process. So ultimately, a woman can enable a woman.